Kogi State, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. Ona Governor Ododo has just proven himself to be an Olodo. Ododo is an Olodo. You see the rhymes? Maso hey. Ibio, what did that guy do? Hi. I know even the dumbest, I mean the dumbest, how do you think they call dumb? Say person they dumb. We don't know anything. Even who don't know anything at all inside politics inside this country. No, if you do what this guy do, this Odudu guy. The guy disgrace in lineage. Even disgrace who carry him enter power. Eh? Hundred days in office. And you are already disgracing yourself. You see him? When you allow the least of you to rule over you, that's a system of government they call kakistocracy. Then shame is your portion. So Kogi with all the professors, all the learned people, wait, they is like Kogi. Smart people. Now this will not do. Be their governor. What did he do this time? Ele homer. What did make me call the report this one give you? I go show you. Mona help me watch achievements. 100 days in office achievement with this guy post online. With this governor post and achievement. I could not watch. In Kogi State, where the governor of the state, Usman Ododo's list of 100 days of achievements has attracted a wave of criticism online. Ododo, who has been embroiled in controversy over the case of his predecessor, Yahaya Bello, who is wanted by the EFCC for alleged financial misappropriation, was sworn in as governor on January 27, 2024. He posted the list of his achievements on X, which includes meeting with the National <laughs> Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribadu. The 42-year-old governor also listed his participation in the meeting of Progressive Governors Forum in Abuja and the joint meeting of the governors of Kogi, Ondo, Taraba with the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kiari, among his other achievements on the agriculture. The governor added that he designated and cleared over 8,000 hectares of farmland for the new farming season and conducted a census of genuine farmers in the state to determine that the farmers will benefit from government subsidies and intervention. Yeah. I, I, can you allow me to yes. allow me to yes. for five yes. minutes? Yes. Yes. Let, me, let, let me take reactions. Of course, Kogi people are worried. Yeah? I actually got the story from someone from Kogi. Uh, this person wrote, um, I weep for my dear Kogi state. It's better not to put out any list of achievements than to ridicule us with these elementary activities. Three months and there's nothing to show for it, this Ododo era. Hmm. Well, another person wrote, meeting NSA is an achievement. What manner of shamelessness is this? You may as well include whisking away the declared wanted governor, Yaya Bello, from EFCC, thereby evading the law as an achievement. Oh, do, do, Arufai, I'm coming to you because you're just hey, cracking up. Hey, and <laughs> Meeting me, me not your way is one of my achievements. <laughs> Meeting Dr. Abati, she has achieved you. Are you? No, but it's in general. But there was general. You cannot say. I've achieved something. Yes, sir. Everybody. Also, I went to meet my fellow governors. I will start that to talk about the story for security and retention. I saw that as an achievement. An achievement. An achievement. We clear farm hectares. How much did you use to clear? You didn't tell us. We took census of farmers. Any of the farmers that you can just call the farmers union as a general tell us how many members. We took census and achievement. Yeah. That, you see, when you live in a country mm -hmm. where the buy is so low, government will be shouting building road is an achievement. Yes. That's it. And it's even an indictment on any government that campaigns with building road. Mm -hmm. Ask that governor, did you build the road with his pocket money? Mm -hmm. Or the taxpayers' money? Mm -hmm. So it's not only Ododo, the bar has been set so low for leadership or G. Mm -hmm. You, you don't see him. He says they laugh for that video. Now, journalists, they laugh. Oh. Normally, journalists, they present something. They, 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 they professional. But the, 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 the funny nature, the funny, the funny nature of that news, no greed them concentrate and be professional. They are laughing. 
How can a governor be counting activities that he engaged in as achievement in 100 days in office? I met with a national security advisor and we discussed. I met with a, a forum of other governors and we sat together and drank champagne. I, I, I met with farmers and we counted census. I cleared 80 uh, 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 hectares of land for uh, 100 days in office. How do these ones think the achievement? Kokuma tell us say you go rescue Yahya Belu from EFCC. That should be also another achievement. Are you seeing how useless these people are? He's not the only one. No. He is not the only one. Some of them. Okay. No be the other time they give on a gist. Who be that governor where they brag? Eh eh. Now nah, Babio, you, you're senior president. You go in state. He don't they start it no be he don't start campaign for 2027. Now they tell them. Am I not the governor that gave you uh, the 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 best uh, stadium in West Africa? Am I not the governor that gave you the best road network? Am I not the governor that gave you uh, the best market to women? Am I not the governor that gave you uh, this one, uh, that one? As if see those things now in money used to do more. That's payers' money. The basic things they were supposed to do. Eh, then call them achievements. Una they hear me? Yes. Some of them go say, eh, why are you celebrating Ale Soti? Because see, they walk road. They do so. We are celebrating Ale Soti inside Abia State because the other governors that came before him neglected all what they were supposed to do. The basic things they were supposed to do for the people, they neglected it. But who gets sense? Enter. No say eh, now the basic things are supposed to do now be this. And in the worker. And no be him they blow in trumpets. Now other people they blow in trumpets. But this governor, now he they blow his own trumpet. Say he meets national security advisor. He meets uh, uh, governors, they sit down drink champagne. He meets this one. He meets that activities where him indulge in now he they count as achievements. Owara Pubunya. Is this person not mad? And the kind of person where you look at it, impose on his state, make it the rule over there. Madman. Eh? Making a caricature of a state like Kogi. Most of Nano know say that Kogi one of the same. The landmass of Kogi is bigger than the five eastern states put together. He big. And see the kind of human being we didn't get as governor. Eh? Hundred days in office, see it out. If you don't reach one M, if you don't reach one year in office, we we'll go hear another achievement now. Nah. You go tell us that you go toilet, you flush them. Now, nah, achievement. You understand? Now, nah, inside this country, we be say, eh? Uh, uh, what do they call them? They go to campaign and they will be campaigning with the things that ordinarily are the rights of the people, things that other countries can never campaign with. You don't ever hear America when they America election is coming up by November. Go and watch that debate. You know, go yesterday we'll go walk road. You know, go yesterday we'll go give potable water. You know, go yesterday we'll go give electricity. They have gone past that level like 100 years ago. Those are the basic things of life. Eh? For the people to survive, are the basic things. But here, we see they campaign with road. We see they campaign with light. We see they campaign with water. Kogi, sorry, oh, sorry. They say now I vote for him now. Eh, I carry on a baggage. I go say on a little bag. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igboland, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe, and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. A majestic, robust and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocent Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocent Ijele, Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.